One of the biggest releases from AI Labs just came out. Deepseek version 3.2 and 3.2 Speciale is out and these are the first reasoning models from Deepseek built for agents. Let's see why this release is super important, super insane and how China is taking the crown from Western Labs. These are some of the benchmarks. We can see here Deep6 Speciale and this is the thinking mode against GPT-5 High Thinking, Claude 4.5 Sonnet and Gemini 3 Pro. Of course, later on in the video, we are going to also try it out and I will give you also some more information that I think are super crucial. So stay around. So on IME, the model performs incredibly well. Both versions are beating Sonnet and are matching Gemini and GPT. On HMMT 2025, they're also doing a tremendous job, like Speciala mode, which is essentially extended thinking, is actually beating all of the competition on both of these benchmarks. On Humanity Last Exam, they have competitive performance. On Code Forces, about coding, again, super competitive performance. On Software Engineering Verified, they're trailing behind, and we're only seeing Depsic uh, version 3.2 thinking because this is the only one with agentic tools. So over here, everything is about agentic capabilities. Very, very soon, in about two weeks from now, they will release Speciale also with agentic capabilities, which is probably going to be beating all of these in most of the benchmarks. Like we can already see the trend. Like if the thinking is doing like that, I think Speciale is going to match all of the state of the art across all of these benchmarks. So that's very, very significant, guys. And here we can see the thinking tokens used by each version. So the simple thinking version is using a similar amount of tokens to what the labs from the West are using. So it's not very verbose, it's very balanced on its output generation, while Speciale is using a lot more tokens per task. However, this allows it to perform incredibly well compared to the competition. However, usually more tokens mean more cost. But let me tell you something, this means nothing because Speciale is costing so little. Guys, this model is costing 40 cents per million tokens output. Do you understand how cheap that is? Even if it uses two times, three times the amount of tokens while it has competitive or even better performance from Gemini 3 Pro, it's still very, very cheap. It's 1.2 million per output tokens. And this is powered by their attention mechanism that allows them to scale input and output super cheaply. Let me show you the prices of Gemini 3 Prop Preview. It's $2 million, $2 per million token input, $12 per million token output for very small inputs and outputs, while for bigger outputs for longer term thinking, it's boosting its price to four and fifty eighteen dollars So you understand here that Speciale and Deepseek version 3.2, which matches the performance of Gemini 3 Pro across multiple benchmarks, in some cases it actually also beats it. It's costing just one tenth maybe 120th in some cases, the price of Gemini 3 Pro. We get the same quality across multiple capabilities at one tenth of the price. If we put GPT 5.1, well, this is GPT 5.1, so it's not a direct comparison with GPT 5 high, we get $10 per million token output. So again, Deepseek is a lot more cheap, especially the version 3.2 thinking that uses pretty much the same amount of tokens as GPT-5 High is actually a lot cheaper and super, super capable. If we put 4.5 Sonnet here, just to get some prices, you can see it's a lot more affordable than it. So you got to understand this is a super cheap, super capable model. Like, it's not lagging behind the current frontier, at least at these prices. And this is very, very significant. Very, very significant. And of course, more API providers will allow the prices to go down. So this is an insane release. This is so insane. Like, 
I'm not even joking at this point. This is super significant. So let's try it out. Create Flabby Bird game. We're going to start with that. Let's see what it will create. And one of the things that I see right now is that the model is actually a lot faster than the previous versions of DeepSeek. Guys, I'm telling you, DeepSeek is coming for everyone. Like, this improvement they made is very significant. They brought frontier performance matching some of the best models out there at one-tenth of the price per task. This is no small feat, and I firmly believe that in two weeks from now that they will bring the extended thinking version with agentic capabilities, they're going to beat all of the Western AI labs. They will have, you know, Western labs will have to put out new versions because they will be uncompetitive in pricing and in performance, in actual IQ. You can understand that DeepSeek is open weights, meaning they give the weights to everyone People can quantize the weight to make inference even more cheap. They can service and serve this model quantized on more new GPUs, pushing the cost through batches and high, capital, high capitalization of GPUs even lower. I could potentially see a new era of companies pushing out subscriptions of $20 that use DeepSeek quantized on the back end and allow for thousands of requests per month, competing directly with ChatGPT, etc. at a lower cost, at a lower price point. Like this model that DeepSeek is creating could burst, could pop the AI bubble. I really, really believe it, but let's see the actual result. I'm going to try it on the Flappy Bird game. I'm going to create a small website with it and I don't know what else I'm going to make. We're going to see. Okay, so you create the Flappy Bird game this is how the game looks like. So the game doesn't look good. That's for sure. So, okay, the game now looks better. Select easy mode. And yeah, okay, I can, I can accept that this game is actually easier than in the past. Okay, so this is the game. The UI is good. The graphics are good. It's a little hard to play. So I'm going to download it. This is very, very usual. Like uh, this happens from any AI model you are going to find anywhere like no ai model is able to create a flabby bird game that is easy enough to play in the past they were able to do it but someone contaminated their data but it looks good the game is good the pipes look good i would say this is an 8 out of 10 comparing to all of the other llms so let's move to the second one create so we're going to create a web page that teaches transformer models to the user so the model begins thinking. We can see here it's not doing some kind of super extended thinking. It first begins by planning, creating the steps, and you know it prepares the prompt. Essentially, this is prompt optimization. So we are going to jump to the results, so I don't want to waste any more of your time. So this is the we website created by DeepSeek. Uh, let's check it out. We can also download it through a single file. So that's good. Maybe actually let's download this. So we can see it on full screen. So it has a little bit of this purplish thing, but that's fine. So let's click start learning. We can see here the tabs with brief animations. Here is the transformer architecture. Okay, that looks kind of fine. These are not clickable. So more details opens up this panel, attention mechanism explaining some stuff. Here is a visualization of how everything works with multiple attention heads. So that's interesting. All right, position focused. It's a little hard to follow this. If I change this to the card, it's actually able to visualize it. Focus, okay, so this is not working, but this looks very interesting. Okay, so it shows us how the weights are changing. This is really, really interesting. So this is encoder, decoder, run model, how is it able to output these things? Okay, so it has some placeholder of what the output of the models will be. Transformers are powerful AI models. Tokens visualization, all right. Okay, token embeddings. It has some very interesting stuff, like it also created an interactive demo. And here are the pages of the actual tutorials. All right, this is very interesting, like, I gotta say, this is a 7, 7.5 7 out of 10 response, but given what I've seen from other AI models, I would place it somewhere around the top. 
like uh, this is a very good result. It still lacks some creativity that I have seen from other models, but I would give it like this half, one point half points for this mechanism multi-head and interactive demo visualizations. So this is very, very interesting. Like this model seems kind of capable. I gotta say at least at a very simple first look, I'm not a benchmarker. I would say this is, uh, this is the real deal. This is very good. So I would definitely add it to my free tools use case. Like for specifically, I'm not paying for any AI tool nowadays. I have Gemini Pro for students. I use ChatGPT, Claude, Grok, and now I will add DeepSeek as well as I have Kimi and Gravity. So I use all of these free offers every single day. I get about 200, 300 chat messages with AI every single day for me to do my work and my tasks. And yeah, I think this is a very capable AI to add to your toolkit. Seems very, very good.